Tired of being shown up by that snobby wizard? Has metamagic gone too far? I'm a good guy, I do my taxes. How come my wishes don't get granted? Have you ever wanted to spring through the air on goat legs with nary a worry of being turned into cold, unfeeling stone? Well, if you're tired of being on the losing side of this never-ending martial caster war, take heart. Because in fifth edition, there are thankfully rules for that. So, what sort of mystical creature could possibly serve as our stalwart against the vile wizarding menace? It's a satyr. You know, like the goat one? Yep, crazy partying goat people from Greece. Not even a joke. See, as a satyr, you've got a faster than normal walking speed, 35 feet, and you can add an extra d8 of feet to a jump. So yes, you will be super mobile on the battlefield, but those bouncy goat legs aside, the main reason we chose these horns and hooves was for an ability called Magic Resistance, which again, no joke, gives us advantage on all saves against spells and magical effects. Yes, every spell and magical effect. But even if they have no chance of hurting us, our spare save rolls do nothing to actually punish every wizard and bard in our extended jump range. So let's look at a class or two. And ah, who am I kidding? There's probably gonna be a feat. There's probably gonna be two feats, at least two feats. We start just like oh so many other builds haven't, with Ranger. Seven levels of Ranger, even. The bad news, we can't take Wizard as our favorite enemy. The good news, we can take Fey. And they're the reason for at least 30% of the world's magic anyway. At second level, dueling will give extra sword damage if we keep our offhand free. And at three, we get to pick an archetype. Type. We will be taking Monster Slayer. Now we ain't just talking Tarasks and Hydras here, no, we are devoted to hunting wielders of truly grim magic, like witches, vampires, dragons, party magicians. This gives us Slayer's Prey, which lets us mark those meddlesome mages and deal extra damage when we hit with a weapon. Yeah, that's right, a weapon, which we will get to later. At fourth level, we're gonna take a feat that is aptly titled Mage Slayer. We get two effects from this. First, we get to attack anyone casting spells within five feet of us, for free! And second, if we hit a concentrating mage with a melee weapon, they get disadvantage on rolling to keep that concentration. Fifth Fifth level gives us an extra attack with our sword. Yeah, yeah, a sword. Stop getting so hung up on it. We'll explain later. We want slashing damage. Seventh level gives us a great slayer feature called Supernatural Defense. This says that whatever dumb nerd we happen to have pre-marked will have a harder time hitting us with any spell that requires a save. Because not only do we get our magic resistance on saves, we also get to add a d6 to each one. All right, now we're great at disrupting mages and dodging their tricks, but how can we truly best their spells and stop them from happening entirely? With counter spells, of course, and that'll bring us to five levels of Warlock. Once we get all the way to fifth level as a Warlock, we can learn counter spell and really show those nerds where they can shove their somatic components. But surely we get more than just that, right? Well, yes, you are right. Thankfully, Seder gets plus two charisma and plus one dex because those are our two favorite stats. As for our patron, we need look no further than Hexblade. See, look, sword stuff. Told you we'd get to it. But anyway, what does Sword Daddy even actually give us at level one? Actually, quite a lot. Starting with a curse that we can bestow as a bonus action that's similar to the Slayer's Mark, but even better. This one gives us increased crit range and regains us health on the death of our target. Plus, we can possess any sword we want and use Charisma as both the attack and damage stat for it. We even gain access to Wrathful Smite, which we can cast with an expanded number of spell slots thanks to our Divin Ranger. At level two, we get two invocations. One we'll use to enhance the packed weapon that we will get at level three, but the other gets us Lance of Lethargy. This will slow anyone hit by our Eldritch Blast by 10 feet on their next turn to ensure that they aren't getting to run back home to their stupid little wizard house. At level 3, we can take Pact to the Blade and get access to Spooky Sword Daddy anytime we want. Plus, thanks to our invocation, this allows us to enhance our Pact Sword to plus 1. Level 4 is another feat, and this one comes from a very spicy, hot off the presses, Unearthed Arcana. Slasher. This feat gives us an extra point of dex, always neat, but also it lets us slow anyone we hit with slashing damage by 10 feet. And on a slashing damage crit, we mortally wound the target, giving them disadvantage on all attacks till their next turn. But even crit fishing aside, if we hit with both attacks, our target starts off their turn with only 10 feet of movement, which means he can't escape the nope goat. Finally, as a fifth level warlock, you get counterspell. Oh, and an extra invocation. Naturally, I have thoughts about that. Grasp of Hadar lets us pull enemies 10 feet closer to us when we hit with Eldritch Blast, so give your best get over here and drag your frightened mage enemies back toward the short, bleeding doom of the Nope Goat. This build really delves deep into the tools that martial classes get to help stay even with late game casters. Although, I do have to say, most of that is just from this new busted Seder race. You can start with Warlock first if you want immediate damage output, but the extra bulk and utility powers of Ranger make it easier to level in the early game, and then pick up Warlock a little bit later when you can. This isn't the only anti-magic build in the game, but boy does it play like a dream. You've got so much mobility that you can provide CC even as you hunt down one or two enemies in a fight. So get out there, take the mentor background, name yourself Phil, and live the Danny DeVito experience you deserve. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Dice Dungeons. Go to DiceDungeons.com and use code DOORMONSTER for 10% off any of these lovely products, including heavy metal dice in beautiful colors like this enameled gold set here. They have these lovely wooden dice holders that look like a honeycomb on the inside and they stick together magnetically. 
which is pretty cool. They also have these really pretty cloth battle mats. This is a forest setting. They also have what looks like an ocean setting, and it's just, there's just a lot of stuff that you can use, you know, to spark your player's imagination during a game, including this dragon coin. <laughs>